Hello, everyone. My name is Xu Jiaxiao. Today, I'm very happy to present our work, Teaching American Sign Language in Mixed Reality. This is a joint work with my colleagues at Dharma's College and researchers and sign language experts from Gavidec University. Motion teaching is hard. We've been used to learn motion with a human coach, but they are often in short supply and not always available to everyone. There are very few systems for teaching people how to move. In this work, we focus on teaching vocabulary words in American Sign Language, ASL. ASL is the predominant sign language of deaf communities. Sign language interpreters and teachers are needed in almost every school. But training a new interpreter is time intensive. In ASL, individual signs involve coordinated finger movement, hand and body motions, which serves as a concrete challenge for automatic assistance for teaching human motion. To learn ASL without an instructor, you can either learn by the ASL books or watch online videos. However, the ASL books are not tailored to learners and online videos lack real-time interactive feedback. We present a system addressing those limitations. Our system leverages the mixed reality technique to create an immersive learning environment. With our system, the learner could view the third-person demonstration and also get the first-person view real-time descriptive feedback. And the learner could also practice the motion while perceiving her own hands in first person view. We addressed two main challenges to implement such a system. First, on the front of teaching methodology, a key challenge is to design a scalable teaching approach to deal with the large volume of ASL signs. Most existing systems are machine learning based whole sign classifiers. They rely on a limited database, which cannot be easily expanded to new signs. Additionally, it's hard to identify interpretable features from the machine learning-based assigned classifiers to determine the accuracy of the motion and correct the learners. To deal with it, we propose a bottom-up approach based on hamburger notation system, HNS. HNS is a generalized notation system which divides individual signs into five fundamental features. For example, here is a sign of popcorn. In HNS, it can be divided into hand shape, location, orientation, movements, and non-manual features. We focus on teaching the first four features in this study. With the use of HNS, our approach for feedback becomes clear. First, we convert both experts' motion and the motion of the user to HNS. Then we compare the difference between the learner and the expert in the space of HNS features. Because HNS features are intuitive and easily interpretable, we can provide clear feedback to the user. On the front of system design, the challenge is how to reliably sense the required information with a lightweight and portable system. Existing motion capture system like Wicom requires heavy instrumentation of the environment. And portable lift motion suffers a lot from occlusion, which can occur regularly when perform the ASL. We we'll address those limitations by building a pair of sensing gloves augmented with air tags. The sensing gloves sense the fine grain joint angle with flag sensors as well as the contact of the adjacent fingers and fingertips with force sensors. This solves the occlusion problem. With the front-facing camera of the MR headset and the AR tags, we are able to track the coarse grain hand motion and its relative position to the headset. Finally, we created an interactive immersive learning lesson augmented with a four-mentioned sensing system and HNS-based feedback algorithm. Learners can view the demonstrations with different views and practice with real-time feedback. We then conducted a user study to evaluate the system. We recruited 60 particip participants and evenly divided them into four groups 
to learn 12 different signs. The first group is using our MR system, which consists of immersive environment, real-time feedback tailored to the learner, and first-person demonstration. The interactive 2D groups are using a 2D version of our system, but the latter one is without feedback. The last group is learning with online videos. Due to the time limit, I showed only the main result here, which is based on three HNS experts' evaluation on three main metrics, handshape, orientation, and movement. The x-axis represents the four groups, and the y-axis is the average rating. We can see that our MR system outperforms all the rest baseline groups in all three metrics. For more details, please refer to our paper. This concludes my talk. Thank you for watching.